Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you notice, I have been redoing some of my older videos and this will be one of them. This time, I'm including some voiceover and some new information so that it is more informative for those who are looking to go to those places. And in this video, we are going to be staying at Queen Elizabeth II Cruise Hotel. Queen Elizabeth II or QE2 for short is a a retired British ocean liner that is now converted into a floating hotel. It was originally operated as a transatlantic liner and a cruise ship from the year 1969 up until 2008. She was then converted and has been operating as a floating hotel in Dubai ever since the April of 2018. Overall, she is more than 50 years old and this is our experience staying at the cruise hotel after we check into our room we went and explore some of the areas of the cruise ship and we stumbled upon this mini library where we took a lot of photos at beside me or else I'm nothing but for me I'd rather be alone than with some people that I don't and let's go into the nitty-gritty of the prices and everything if you type qe2.com you will be brought into this website and there are information regarding the rooms tour and dining choices some of the special offers that are currently ongoing we went there by train and we stopped at the Bergerman station which we then took a taxi straight to the QE2 taxi ride cost is about 21 dirham on to the type of room that we chose it was the classic room or as you click into the book now it shows a standard room and the prices are usually according to date how far in advance you book the lowest price available here is 216 dirham but you might want to look at some of the the items after you click into it because some might not include breakfast and other ones might include tours and stuff there are also Ramadan type of offerings such as iftar or sahur and now we will take you to view the room I originally did a video of me talking to you guys but the audio was not that good so I will just voice over this way so that you guys can hear it clearer when you go into the room there is this long hallway and I'm bringing you to the bathroom the bathroom is surprisingly new I believe it's been renovated and everything feels new except for the marble countertop that one seemed like it's the original countertop and this is where the rest of the room is it's a simple queen size bed with open concept type of closet and there's extra pillows up there and also blanket you have a TV and also a mini bar, a get ready area, and that's the window that you could look out to. This room cost us 278 dirham at the time that we booked it. After that, we went and explored the cruise ship. We got lost a few times, but there's always a map everywhere you go. And now we were exploring the pool section because we thought it was going to be a big pool but ended up being like a small kiddie pool. But the gym area is quite big. And there's also a barber shop or salon there.
and we came across a laundry room now we're heading towards the Lido restaurant at night they do have a dinner buffet but we were not that hungry yet so we went out to catch the sunset There are multiple levels that you could go to to take photos. I think due to its capacity at that time, they closed off a lot of section of the ship. When we got back to the room, we ended up ordering this chicken tikka pizza which cost us about 55 dirhams. It was quite good and we were just spending the night watching movies. And on the next day, we went to have breakfast at the Lido restaurant. There were a lot of breakfast options there, a lot of desserts and only then we realized how many people there are in that ship. After that, we went back to our room to get ready for checkout and drop by this area to take some more photos there are a lot of history about the ship all around the wall that you could read And on our way out, we took a different path to the main building for checkout. And from there, you could see the ship. We also took some time to take more photos in front of the ship before we check out. The ship looks huge from the outside. And then we went to the check-in checkout area and there were a lot of books there that you could read while waiting for taxis. And actually the books there are the collection from the ship so they took out some of them to be at this area Once our taxi arrived, we went to the old Dubai area where my husband and I went to some of the thrift shops there. And after that, my husband decided to get a haircut because it's quite cheap there in old Dubai and it only cost him 10 dirham. And after that, before going home, we went to have lunch at this 
Hub Express near Sharaf Digi Metro Station. It's a walking distance there. And we ended up spending about 38 dirham for a pizza, mie goreng, and also coconut shakes and some other drinks that we ordered. Which is quite cheap considering the amount and then we finally take a train from Sharaf DG back to our home and that was the first time that we tried the gold class cabin the difference between normal cabin and gold class cabin is that the price is double regardless of the price the seat is not guaranteed it is still on first come first serve basis but you get better seats and also you have some places to hold your luggage there and I can't wait to explore more of Dubai and share with you guys until then thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye my heart beats with yours so you can take me on falling deep it won't take long so breathe the energy